Rise, grind, shine, peace and blessings. It's a new day. And you're now listening to Curtis Rice at Born Royal 86. This week allowed me to notice some things I've been dealing with for a while. Some things that I've been doing for a long time. And that's trying to be everywhere at once and do everything. I'm learning how to accept things that change, you know, and um, people change. And I can change my mind too, you know, if the situation doesn't align with where I'm going. And you can do the same, which you have been doing. But that's something that I'm working on and that I'm dealing with at the moment. There's plenty of things to do, but it doesn't mean that it's mandatory that I have to associate myself with everything. I know one of the four agreements is keeping your word. I understand the concept of it, but what happens when you constantly keep your word with people who don't keep theirs? You can change your schedule, get a babysitter, fly out of town, spend money out of your own pocket just for a person to reschedule, flake on you, or wait for somebody else to get on the same page. There are some things that I wanted to do at one point in time that I no longer have time to do. And that's just life. There's just certain things change. One way for me to notice if something is not for me is when I decide to do something and then something major happens immediately afterwards. As a result, I just keep realizing that you can't keep forcing what's not meant to happen. The best part is that I don't feel bad about it at all. This is not just content for me. I'm not on here saying things just to be saying it. If you listen closely, you can put two and two together. You know exactly what's up, whether you want to hear it or not. The moment you ignore the message and what I'm saying, that's on you. There's this song by Outkast on the Idlewild soundtrack called PJ and Rooster, where Andre 3000 says, nobody wanted to dance when I had a lot of time on my hands, and now I got a lot of hands on my time. That's exactly what's going on right now. When I had time, I was playing a waiting game that I kept losing time behind. The moment I decided I'm not doing this, that's when things started changing. And it's not from a negative standpoint of, oh, I'm not doing that or I'm not doing that. But it's what, it's what comes with it when I prematurely say yes to something without giving it time. It has nothing to do with not liking people personally. But if I'm continuously praying and asking for things to change for the best and I'm still holding on to old ways of thinking and going back to things that I said I would never go back to, then I'm not doing nothing but hurting myself on repeat just because I can that doesn't mean that I should. That's something that's been circulating in my thoughts constantly. So if it's something that I'm supposed to do, Lord willing and time allows it, until then. I also noticed that being uncomfortable will help you find real solutions. Giving up is easy because you can talk yourself into opting out of any and everything because you don't want to do it. So at this point right now, availability is not the same. Prices went up. I'm not available in the same ways you might have been used to before. I don't have time to sit up and be on the phone talking about the same 50 conversations for free. If you got money for your vices and that blue check, you got money for a consultation. I come across different people every day. Some people are upbeat, full of life. Some are afraid of their own shadow. Some are waiting to be told what to do. And some people just want to talk about everybody else. The conversations are different with each group. One group appreciates life being able to shatter limitations, elevate and evolve by taking risks. One group is draining because they have an objection to everything that you say. They just want to debate and go back and forth just because they feel it's healthy to them. Not knowing how draining it is to the other person or anyone else around. But some people like that. The other groups are zombies feeding off timelines, gossip and rumors. Whatever works for you, that's you. But being around someone who wants more out of life makes the day more enjoyable on top of your own energy. Being around someone who's always complaining makes the day go by slow. And you just want it to be over with before it starts. There are some moments when situations are not flawless, but complaining doesn't help. Complaining to have you overreacting prematurely over something you could have chilled on for just a little bit longer. Right now, I'm two weeks in a few days without eating any bread or fast food. And I'm apt about that. I can look at pizza and be like, nah, I'm good. Not at the moment, but that's just for now. 
So when I find out how to incorporate it without overdoing it, then that'll be a different story. But until the end, I'm good on that. That and the last pizza that I saw somebody with just looked terrible. It was one of them Ninja Turtle pieces. It had pineapples, spinach, and some other stuff that I don't even want to see on the pizza. So no fried foods, just mainly grilled carrots, a few bites of celery here and there. But today I had some ice cream, and I'm not ashamed about that at all. Definitely went in on that. As far as content, I haven't really been watching too much, but when I did tune in, I watched some Shark Tank, about 10 minutes of love and hip hop, just to see if the storyline ever changes. And to my surprise, it absolutely does not. Same story, plot, just different characters rotating out with the same people. Then I saw a few minutes of Catfish. That show was intense. That's a damn good show. Like, I can only imagine if that show was around growing up because you and I both know some people who was either catfishing or have been catfished a time or 200. Before I forget, I think old people should retake the driver's test. They out here tearing the streets up, flipping people off, side swiping parked cars, running over cats and turtles, and they road rage. It's out of control. I know this might be your grandpa or your grandma or somebody you love, but they ass is going to jail if they keep up this foolishness. But yeah, I'm going to the gym. You're more than welcome to go for yourself. If you decide to go, that's great. If not, that's none of my business. Either way, no excuses. Greatness is ageless.